Sleep is necessary to sustain life, and the lack of it can cause detrimental health problems. In this video today, I'm going to share with you some strategies that I use to help me fall asleep, stay asleep, and when I wake up in the morning, I am well rested, well refreshed, and I usually report a great quality of my sleep and also a long duration of my sleep. Hey selfies, welcome back. And if you're new here, I appreciate you being here. Guess what? We have reached 200 subscribers. I am so happy. I am so grateful. Thank you very much for supporting me and also for believing in my messages. I really appreciate it. Now let's get to the topic, shall we? So to fall asleep, I am going to suggest some strategies that you want to implement before bedtime. Now, remember, on this channel, we're not giving power to anything that is outside of ourselves. Everything and anything has to be within ourselves. So these strategies really are going to be something that you're going to work on within yourself. I know there is a sleep hygiene out there, well studied. You know, it's supposed to help you with strategies that you can implement before bedtime. And a lot of it will be like cutting down on coffee, you know, diet and exercise. All these things are important. However, I'm sure you've heard of all these um, strategies before and I'm sure they're probably not working for you. So don't underestimate those strategies, obviously. You want to implement all those strategies that you already know. However, with this new strategy, or maybe you've never heard of this before, and it's basically staying within yourself and working within yourself and helping you fall asleep. I've used this for a long, long time and I have no problem falling asleep. I have no problem staying asleep. And usually I wake up very refreshed fresh, energetic, and I'm able to be more productive with my work and also with my overall life. So please consider sleep hygiene, but also add these strategies to your um, daily routine. First of all, you want to make sure that you have a consistent sleep time and wake time, right? So that means you go to bed at the same time, at least close to the same time, and also wake up at the same time. This way, you are training the brain that it is this time to go to sleep and it's that time to wake up. So consistency is very important. And also repetition, because if you keep repeating strategies and techniques, it impresses your subconscious mind and without much effort, it happens easily. So it's very important to keep the consistency and the reputation going to help you fall asleep. And from the external, make sure that the room is quiet, the room is ambient, you know, it's very calming, very relaxing, the temperature is at a comfortable temperature for you, the beddings are very comfortable and, you know, not too hot, not too cold, not too itchy, you know, everything is fine. At least you set the mood for time to go to sleep. And also use your bed only for sex and sleep. Don't use the bed for anything else like eating or chit chatting or or doing any other activity because again you want to train your brain that when I get to bed it's for me to go to sleep not to do anything else so those are also strategies you can implement to help you fall asleep now when you get to bed this is really what you need to do what I do to fall asleep is that mentally you have to know that I'm going to sleep that means anything that is not sleep related should not be with you that is your phone your tablets television i would say even a book don't have it because it is not part of the sleep routine okay so you stop all that and scientifically if you go to bed with um, any type of electronics or anything like that they do have blue light and this blue light can change the architecture of your eyes can stimulate your eyes to be active so we discourage the use of all electronics while going to sleep but mentally it is just to tell your subconscious mind that it is time to go to sleep and another strategy is that now that you know that you're in bed this is what you're going to tell yourself you get to a comfortable position 
I usually lay on my back, okay? At least for the time being, you lay on your back and then you completely relax yourself. You start from body parts to body parts to body parts all the way to your toes. And what I do, I talk to my body because it's a relationship between you and yourself, okay? So what I do when I get to bed or when I lay down on my bed and I will tell my body, it is time to go to sleep. We are going to sleep. It is time to go to sleep. Then you start from the head and you close your eyes, you put your arms on your side and you imagine your head completely relaxed on the pillow. And then you make sure that you're feeling your head sinking into the pillow. Within your mind, you can tell the head to completely relax. So you can use something like, my head is relaxed. My head is relaxed. As you were saying that, you must follow it with the feeling of you being relaxed, okay? Then you come down to your neck muscles, right? And then you feel the neck muscles, and then you feel your neck muscles completely relaxing. So you'd say, my neck muscles are relaxed. And as you're saying that, again, you're repeating the feeling of your neck muscles being relaxed. And you go down to your shoulders and you say, my shoulders are relaxed. And you follow that with a feeling of your shoulders relaxed. So you go down and get to your abdominal muscles and you can say, my abdominal muscles are relaxed. And you feel that as well. You get down to your thighs, my thigh muscles are relaxed, my legs are relaxed, my toes are relaxed. You go from head to toe. It's all up to you how detailed you really wanna go. As you complete the whole um, relaxation technique, then you are going to start from head to toe and do a full surveillance of the whole body being relaxed. You remain still and you remain focused on you being relaxed, nothing else. Right? So as soon as you know that you're completely relaxed, you start to feel yourself on the bed completely relaxed. As you get to that point, you stay there for a minute or two, and then you make sure that you're completely there. Then you can tell the body, it is time to fall asleep. It is time to fall asleep. I am sleepy. I am very, very sleepy. Remember, we're doing all this within our mind. So the mind is telling the body what to do. So you say, I am sleepy, I am very, very sleepy. I am sleepy, I am very, very sleepy. So as you're saying that, the body will follow the mind, eventually going to fall asleep without any effort. It takes practice, but as you do this, it is going to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and you're gonna wake up refreshed, happy, and joyful. And your production will increase, you will have more energy, less lethargic, more concentration, and um, it just helped with the overall uh, well-being. A second strategy that I will share with you is the law of reversibility. So the law of reversibility, it's basically starting from point Z to point A, to make your mind tired or your brain tired. So your day-to-day -day activity basically start from A to Z, right? You wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you take a shower, you go to work. So you're following this pattern from A to Z. Now when you get to bed, you want to start from Z to A. So what did you do right before you went to bed? So you're going backwards and then you keep going backwards and then make sure that all the little details are included in this strategy. So as you do that, you're making the brain tired because the brain is not used to going backward. We're always going this way. So as you do that, you get tired, you fall asleep before you even get to X or Y because the brain gets tired, okay? So these are the strategies that I have for you in addition to sleep hygiene that you're already familiar with. And this is if you don't want to take medications, right? And you just want to fall asleep naturally. These strategies would help you a lot. Thank you for watching. Peace be upon you and God Almighty's blessings.